in a city under siege. Where was justice? Right here. Shh, shh. No, it's payback time. <laughs> I don't understand why more people aren't interested in war. <laughs> Friends call me so. I never see you with your friends. I keep to myself, work on my models. Got a whole squadron hanging from the ceiling of my room. Did you start? Honorable discharge. Best years of my life. <laughs> you know the problem with you civilians? You don't seem panic with your surroundings. <laughs> no awareness. No. Come sense danger. <laughs> For the company. At ease, soldier. <laughs> See, I'm teaching Matt to salute. He can raise his ball like this. <laughs> <laughs> Soldiers are highly trained, tapped off. Wouldn't lock jaws with anyone unless I gave him a direct order to last children. He <laughs> sounds delightful. Everyone forgets that dogs are just people too. <laughs> The dog bit me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mrs. I'll save you the trouble of having to ask. I don't have any further information regarding your loss. I don't fraternize with minors, so I don't know her. Don't diminish her. She may have had a crush on me. Your informant has that effect. <laughs> yes, I was aware of her presence prior to, well... What? Her abduction. Is that what you think happened? Don't upset you. I'm past that. Does no good to say it. Say it! Rape, murder, maybe even not in that order. I couldn't live with myself if I was the father. You couldn't protect her. That's hard for a man. The men don't speak, so. Detective Holloway told us to check under the house at night. Said runaways often hide there if close to home. To hear how much they're missed by their parents. We told them Ruby didn't run away, but Ray still checks under there every night with a torch. I see him every day. Your husband. He sees you walking your dog on his way to and from work. Work? Is that what he tells you, missus? He rides the train all day. And when he's not there, he's at the window at number 12. Grandma moons. No wonder he won't sell. He must be mistaken. He's at work. Up and down the line, looking for a little girl in a pretty red dress covered with full moons. Does your husband carry a weapon? He needs to carry a weapon. <laughs> he needs to put himself in the mind of the enemy. Whatever his routine, his needs, wants, weaknesses. I would make him my personal mission. I would hunt him down like a dog and I would cut off his genitals. <laughs> and feed him to him slowly. Because these people are animals. Apart from the police. When your little one disappeared, we hit it 
off. Like mine, I guess. You and Ruby. The police. They appreciated my ability to handle the situation. I'm familiar with the concept of the street campus. Most people fall apart. I have a presence of mind to offer them refreshments. Walk in the streets as they were, looking for clues and witnesses. I knew they would need to be provisioned. I inquired about their firearms. They informed me they carried a 38 snub nose cover. One of them had a Glock 9mm, which I thought was interesting. They asked if I'd seen anything. I told them everything. Because often details that don't seem important can be, such as cars that come gone. See, here, yeah, I often keep a log of unfamiliar cars on the street, and they'll play, make, model. It's a hobby of mine. Do you often lose your temper, Sonny Jim? Is that why Soldier attacked you? He didn't attack me. I'm his master. He's highly trained. Maybe Ruby aggravated him that day. He didn't touch her. You often walk him by the church in the middle of the night? What's this about? Veronica, she said. That witch number three. I know what this is about. <laughs> On the night in question, I was walking soldier up by the church late at night. He was sniffing the dirt, clawing. I thought he was going to dig up that priest you ran off. As it was, it was a grave. But a small one. For a tiny body wrapped in a black garbage bag, wearing a ribby red dress covered in full moons. No, please don't! It was a doll! So you tell who has been peeping out that curtain window that Sonny Jim didn't bury a little girl at church. Check with Detective Holloway. I was in my room the whole time. I might have confirmed it. I was working on a model of a B-52, one to 48 scale, which to this day remains incomplete. <laughs> It's a mystery, missus. Have you been sending her to us in pieces, Sonny Jim? I would ask the one who gave the toll. Do you know who? Who do you trust with your child? The babysitter. Bad things happen in houses like that.
the law of physics, motion, the universe. It's my purpose to know these laws, to apply them, and yes, even to find them, to reach into the unknown. Knowledge has always been my comfort. Never the knowing of this. The knowing of what, Professor? Can you hear them? Is that the sirens? Professor? Carla? Call me Carla. Not Paula Curry. <laughs> Paula, I'm here about Ruby. I know my name. What can I say? <coughs> I'm a failure. She's gone. With the others. They're all gone. I killed them all. What others, Carla? Well, my statement, like Ben signed. <laughs> You're confessing? Yes. Just like that. I just can't harbor it any longer. The star seemed further away tonight. What did you think? I felt my husband as soon as he said his name. Orion. Always was compelled by the heavens, the cosmos, the great beyond. <laughs> Tell me what you did to Ruby. 